Greetings and peace to you, dear brothers and sisters. Our God is good at all the times. I would like to reflect with you on Palm Sunday and its readings. The Mother Church expects us that we reflect on the passion of the Lord. Shall we consider to think in the perspective of St. Paul, who says, My present day sufferings are nothing when I compare them to the sufferings of the Lord. Today's reading reflects us about faith and humility of Jesus. Once upon a time in a town, a house caught fire. There was no one at the house except a small little boy who was about 10 years old. The fire alarm went on. The firefighter came to the rescue. But before the boy could become aware, the entrance of the house was already on the fire. So the boy was not able to escape out of the house, nor the firefighters were able to rescue the boy. So the firefighters instructed the boys to go upstairs to the first floor, to the portico, and when the boy ran up there from the ground, the firefighters cried out to the boy to jump out of the portico. But the boy was hesitant and fearsome because there was a fire in between them. As the boy was delaying, the fire caught piled up. It became like a big wall between them. Now they are no longer able to see each other. As the struggle was going on, a man rushed to the place from nowhere and he shouted at the boy, Come on, my boy, jump out. I am here to save you. He was not a firefighter, but still the boy jumped out of the portico through the fire and the man caught hold of him and saved him. How come this man was able to raise such a confidence in that boy? Because that man was the father of that boy. When the small little boy heard the voice of his own father, he readily understood that my father will never let me down. With the same trust on his father, Jesus enters Jerusalem. According to the prophecy of Isaiah that is depicted in the first reading, Jesus was ready for any humiliation without a rebellion. Jesus allowed himself to be struck, his beard to be pulled and played with. He shows his face for shame and to be spit upon. Remember, Jesus did all these even though he was in the form of God. He did not deem equality with God, rather emptied himself and took the form of a slave. He humbled himself obediently accepting even death, a death on a cross. This is what St. Paul records in his letter to Philippians in the second reading. God raised him from his death on account of his trust and humility. Shall we consider our own hearts as Jerusalem? When Jesus enters in, we welcome him with big songs of Hosanna. What do we want to do with him? Are we also going to crucify him? Or, like Jesus himself, are we going to accept him at this time of our turmoil? Let us accept Jesus with trust and humility. Dear brothers and sisters, let us not give up our faith. Let us trust in God. When we do so, as for Philippians 2.9, God will highly exalt us. As for Isaiah 57, the God will help us and will never make us feel disgraced. Let us pray. Lord, Thank you for what you are to us. Bless all our brothers and sisters who are suffering across the world. Do not forsake us, for we can only trust in you. Master our rebellious hearts, 
and teach us humility. Lighten our burden and strengthen our back. Help us to render more faithful service to you and to one another. Save the entire creation. May Mary, our most loving mother, intercede for us. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, stay safe. Be always positive. Live blessed. Our God is good at all the times. Amen.